So the business of writing is very tough, but it's that way because you have to treat it as a business. Um, writing a book for yourself, writing a book for your family, writing a book just because you love the story is fantastic. And if you want to do that, you should do it. And you will probably get great enjoyment out of it and people may read it and it may be wonderful. But if your goal is to write a book that will go into bookstores and be bought by hundreds or thousands or millions of people and be wonderful, that's a different thing. Um, so writing as a business is in a lot of ways like any other business and in a lot of ways like not like any other business. Um, so the first rule of writing as a business, I would say, is finish what you write, which is a rule that I'm stealing from Robert Heinlein, but it's still appropriate. Um, no one can sell anything that they don't finish. Um, Another good rule of writing is re remember that no reader owes you a reading of your book. Um, so when we write books for ourselves, we're our, we're our reader. We reward ourselves. When we write books for our family, they're our family. They have to read it. Uh, but when you write books for strangers, strangers don't have to do anything. And they don't care that you spent six months or a year or 15 years writing this book. If they don't enjoy it, that's our failure. And it's not that we may have written the wrong book. Maybe we, set, we didn't set proper expectations for ourselves. It's just a different thing to write for ourselves and to write for other people. So remember that your readers don't owe you anything. Um, if you want to move into professional writing, remember that it's a business. Um, it, it, it seems childish, but the very best rule that, that has made my career what it is, is do what you say. Meet your deadlines. Um, if you say that you'll do a certain amount of work for a certain amount of money in a certain amount of time, do it. Editors love that. I can say that as a successful freelancer and as an editor who's hired freelancers. We love that. Um, be professional. Uh, recognize that for most people who work in the book business, it's their job. It's a business. Like any other business, it has rules. You know, you don't go into a restaurant and scream at the chef for no reason. In the same way that maybe you don't go to a convention and scream at an editor for no reason. Um, you know, you don't, you don't go into a furniture store and suddenly start remaking the furniture on the floor. You know, I want this couch to be in blue, so I'm going to rip that cover off this one and put it on this one in front of God and Radar. It doesn't work that way. In the same way that when someone hires you to write something, you're being hired to write what they're paying for, not necessarily what you want. Um, and I think the best, the, the simplest advice for the business of writing is be nice. Um, markets change. Editors change. Um, the person who turned down the story that you wrote at Publishing House A, their replacement may buy it. Uh, the editor who rejected your story from Magazine B, well, that's fine. That's Magazine B. There's Magazine C, D, E, F, G all the way down the road. There will be someone along. But be nice, you know. Edit, uh, magazine B may not buy this story, but they may buy the next one. And if you are not one of the authors who writes back from your rejection letter and says, I don't think you read my story correctly, then they'll remember you. Um, unfortunately, in the writing business, it's very easy to make a negative impression and not always easy to make a good one. Uh, because like most things in the world, the negative ones are the loud ones. So don't be the loud one is probably the best advice.